Fyodor Dostoevsky's works, whether you read Notes from Underground, The Double, Crime and Punishment, The Brothers Karamazov, all explore what it means to be human, all explore different shades of human nature. He peels back the layers of human emotions, showing how vast and bottomless our capacity is to feel. And so much of that is hidden to us. It's hard to understand. His characters are tragically human. They are constantly struggling between their intellect and their emotions, torn between their desires and their sense of morality, their conscience. And this internal fight is you know, manifests externally in a very raw and tragic and violent manner, which explains why all of Dostoevsky's works are so intricately complex and devastating to read. In a lot of ways, Dostoevsky has sketched the perfect portrait of the duality that exists within human nature, the contradictions of human nature, because even though his characters want to transcend life's limits and you know achieve a higher ideal they still continue to so strongly uh, believe in and you know act out of their own subjective realities their own limitations in a way that they feel that no other reality exists other than their own he has managed to reveal the darkest and deepest recesses of humanity. You can read him. Anybody can read him. Anybody can read him at any time in their life. His words can be read by anyone and everyone. His words can be read in so many different ways at so many times in your life, which is why his fiction feels so timeless and spiritual even. Depending on what mode or state of mind you're in, his writing can feel hopeful, passionate, haunting, chaotic, uh, fragile, cathartic and most of all deeply introspective. I read White Nights back in July of this year and I won't say, I mean it's not very Dostoevskyan but it does carry his legacy forward in that it just shows you the contradictions that exist inside of us and even our capacity to feel so deeply. But you know it's done in a more subtle and unusual manner and it's even tragic, of course, because it's Dostoevsky. And I say unusual because White Nights, it's not as psychological and violent as Crime and Punishment, nor does it deal with existential themes of faith, identity, morality, religion, as in The Brothers Karamazov. And nor is it as dark and harsh as Notes from Underground. White Nights is a bit, it's strangely optimistic, but even melancholic. It it's so beautifully written, it's so poetic. I feel like you really get to see a more sentimental and introspective side of Dostoevsky like you've never seen before. I mean, I do consider the brothers Karamazov to be sentimental too, but this is in a in this is in a very different light. It's a very sh- different shade of sentiment. Honestly, this story took me by surprise. It's elusive, it's dreamlike, again, it's sentimental. I felt I also felt it was very naive and young. I mean, if you've read Dostoevsky, you will understand. And if you've read White Nights after, you'll understand why I'm using those two words, naive and young. Because, you know, the book is very idealistic in a very charming, almost adolescent manner. And I think that's why I had such a good time reading White Nights. It's descriptive in a way many short stories aren't. It doesn't waste even a single detail. And it's the kind of romance that I prefer to read, honestly. I don't know what that says about me, but all right. I mean, I w- I never read romance. The the last, the only two romance I have read, uh, which happened to be this year, is uh, Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare and The Book of Pleasures by Clarice Lispector. In films, some films that I have seen that I think of that sort of share the sentiment that is in White Nights is uh, The Lobster in the Mood for Love, Portrait of a Lady on Fire, Blue Valentine, I think. That's it. Yeah, these are the films that I can think of. Now, I'd love to read a few lines from the book, but I want you to experience this book. Your first reading of this book needs to be completely unknown and uh, exactly how it was for me, so I'm not going to. But I highly, highly recommend that you read this book. It's it's short. It's incredibly short. You can read it in a day. You know, just talking about it right now after having read it back in July, I feel like reading it again and uh, 
मे बी आई माइट आई मीन इट्स दस की राइटिंग रोमैंस इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू से नो टू दैट माई गॉड अ होल मिनट ऑफ ब्लिस इज दैट रियली सो लिटल फॉर द होल ऑफ अ मैंस लाइफ सो जैसे थिंग वेन यू फिनिश वाइट नाइट्स इट इट लीव्स अ स्माइल इट लेफ्ट अ स्माइल ऑन माई फेस इट वॉज ऑप्टोमिस्टिक इन दैट सेंस इट द प्रोटेगनिस्ट नॉ द हीरो इन वाइट नाइट्स इज अ ड्रीम अप and it feels like when you read the story it feels as if he is the only person who exists in that setting in that environment and of course another character and everybody else like it's an it feels like everybody else has just disappeared it's just those two characters in the story and the way that this book is structured it's so endearing i i don't know if that's the right word for it it just feels so endearing at the beginning of the story so it's white knights under it is written a sentimental love story from the memoirs of a dreamer so his hero is a dreamer which makes it so interesting because as a dreamer you're always torn between the life you can only dream about and the life that you're living so that dichotomy the the contrast between those two worlds the way dostoevsky plays it out in this story is just really beautiful it's so touching so emotional so so he uh quotes turgenev at the start of the first chapter like the first night or was his destiny from the start to be but just one moment near your heart i feel so nostalgic all of a sudden just flipping through the pages and just talking about the book it just leaves a smile it just left a smile on my face at the back it says two devastating russian stories of solitude unrequited love and depravity from beyond the grave so that is white nights I'll see you guys soon.